The search continues for the Bay Area radio DJ gone missing. That and more news coming up on Synced In. Hey everyone, longtime fans of Bay Area radio DJ Jeffrey Vandergrift are growing more concerned by the day. Authorities say he's been missing since Thursday night. JV, as his fans know him, has a morning show on the radio station Wild 94.9. Police say he was last seen at his home, located near Oracle Park, around 10 p.m. on Thursday. His fans are worried. It shows a lot of impact of his love and how people came to his place of work um, to celebrate him and let him know how much we all care and we just want to find him safe. On Monday, the radio station tweeted an update saying there hasn't been any trackable activity on Vandergriff's cell phone or credit cards since he went missing. SFPD is asking anyone with possible information about his whereabouts to call its tip line. Okay, in other local news, the community came together on Sunday to help support the two San Jose street food vendors who were attacked last week. Organizers set up a buyout and a ton of people showed up. They said they did this to help the two men make enough money so they could take some time off to recover from the attacks. Street vendors don't get days off, you know, so I think they deserve um, a little financial stability and the support of the community. According to authorities, Saul Reconco was beaten by a customer who wanted free food. It happened outside the SAP center. A few days later, unrelated, police say Carlos Sanchez was attacked by an owner who was upset he was selling near his business. The buyout was held there at the same spot where Carlos was attacked outside the Intex Auto Parts business on Old Bayshore Highway. The owner even helped prep for the event, posted pictures of him and his family cleaning up the area, saying he continues to be embarrassed and regretful for his actions and that these are truer pictures of who he is rather than what the attack video shows. Activists and lawyers are reportedly trying to help both Saul and Carlos get U visas, which temporarily grant immigration status to victims of crime. Well, in weather news, don't put away your umbrellas just yet. We have a couple more rounds of rain coming in this week. Here's meteorologist Carrie Hall with your forecast. Well, we still have rain in the forecast over the next couple of days. In fact, as we head toward Tuesday, another round of rain comes in and it starts out during the morning hours for the inland areas and our high temperatures only reach into the low 50s. But we're also going to in total see about an inch to an inch and a half across the Bay Area. There will be a brief break as the rain tapers off on Wednesday. Thursday and Friday are looking sunny, but it's going to be chilly. And if you thought you would get out for the weekend, Oh, we're going to have more rain coming in with highs only in the low 50s, so we're not done with the cold and wet weather. And for San Francisco, also watching out for that possibility of thunderstorms in the forecast. At least around the Bay Area, we're going to see the snow in elevations above 2,500 feet. And then that brief little break from the rain on Wednesday into Friday, but the weekend is looking quite soggy. So we'll keep you up to date on all of these changes right here on social media, as well as on NBC. BayArea.com. Thanks, Carrie. On our website, you can also type in your city to get a more specific forecast. All right, everyone, that's all I've got for you today. Thanks for watching.